All right, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump rising in the polls. So it uh, looks like we're going to see uh, another Trump victory coming in November. So uh, stand by, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Donald Trump is rising in the polls. Uh, I mean, you know, is it surprising half of America is being burnt down? Where is it being burnt down? In the Democrat cities. I mean, this is an open um, kind of proof that uh, the kind of world that the Democrats want to build for everybody, which is basically uh, an, an ending chaos, violence, and burning your house down. I'm not sure many people are going to vote for that. Um, even Michael Moore, who's you know no friend of Donald Trump, let's say that, you know, he's a, a very harsh critic actually, has come out and once again predicted Trump's going to win in 2020, and he said there's an incredible enthusiasm for Trump out there in America. And of course there is. Um, you know, if we've witnessed both the uh, the Democratic uh, virtual convention, which was an absolute fucking joke, um, which was basically, I mean, it was like something from some kind of bizarre science fiction movie, wasn't it? It was basically people cheering on video screens and, and like Joe Biden hiding in, hiding in his basement and, and a few other weird people like that, uh, that, that, that young singer who sings, what's her name? I can't even remember her name now. She's some young punk singer who's got like green in her hair and she looks like basically like a, a depressed zombie. Um, you know, so, you know, I can't remember her name. But anyway, she's a complete nightmare. And uh, she was, of course, uh, endorsing uh, Joe Biden. Of course, she's so depressed, why not? And, um, you know, it was just a disaster. You had Obama come on, he said his platitudes, you know, and then, you know, Michelle Obama came on and said her platitudes. But really, I don't think it's getting through to anybody. And then, of course, we had the Republican National convention last week which was you know a lot more successful I think um, Trump had a lot of african-american people come out and, and spoke about how Trump had uh, helped the african-american community in relation to jobs in relation to freeing them from prison uh, if uh, they've been sent there on a, on a piddling crime I mean Trump's been an actual friend to the african-american community and I think it's absolutely historic and shows their desperation that they've caused this black lives matter um, nonsense uh, at the moment you know they've caused this nonsense in the hope that so much chaos I I believe they caused COVID as well. I believe they caused the Black Lives Matter and COVID in the hope that the world will be so bad and things will be so terrible that they'd have to vote Trump out. But people are seeing through it. Um, Trump's numbers are rising. And even on CNN, um, Don Lemon has uh, sounded, the, uh, sounded the alarm and Michael Moore has sounded the alarm that Trump is rising in the polls and that the only platform Joe Biden and Camilla Harris is offering is that they aren't Trump. They are not positing anything that I would actually do. So I believe we're in for a second um, um, uh, Donald Trump victory. As a matter of fact, I predict it's going to be a bigger victory than 2016. I, I could even be a landslide, ladies and gentlemen, a Trump landslide in 2020. That would be a perfect ending to a very bad year, I think. And it's exactly what the Democrats deserve if they believe they can create all this chaos just to try and basically kick out a president that they disagree with. I mean, that just shows how undemocratic and how evil they really are. I mean, the amount of people that have suffered this year due to COVID and due to the Black Lives Matter riots and chaos. Uh, it's just terrible. So Donald Trump's the man. And obviously, we support him here on the report for Tiger Mountain. And we'll bring you reports as we come closer to the election. And I just can't wait for the, um, the debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump because he's going to wipe the floor with Biden. I think that's pretty clear. Thank you for listening and stick around and let's enjoy these last two months to the presidential election. And go Donald Trump. Great man. Cheers.